Kate was a bisexual with a slamming body. Range Wilson, fitness, comedy, life. Karen and I had spent the afternoon at the Getty Museum, which was awkward, then went for a sushi dinner afterwards, which was fun. Now we were naked in her bedroom, and the awkwardness returned with a vengeance. At one point I actually tried to call a halt to the festivities, but Karen was determined that we were going to have sex. I staggered across the finish line and then did my best to cuddle up with her. But even the cuddling ended up being awkward. First, she had to set her room alarm, which was an entirely different system from the house alarm. That meant I would be locked in the bedroom all night. Then she liked keeping the air conditioning at a chilly 55 degrees. Even under thick blankets, I was shivering by the morning. I thought to myself, this is no way to live, no matter how rich this woman was. Even worse, she sent me an email the next day expressing her dismay that we had slept together. Given that she had insisted on it, I was not feeling particularly sympathetic. At that point, it became clear to me that Karen's neuroses were not going anywhere anytime soon. Managing her anxiety would be a full-time job. There might be a whole bunch of guys willing to do that job in return for her financial support, but I was not one of them. I sent her an email regretfully letting her know that I would be moving on. And I was moving on into the house in Silver Lake. I ended up thinking of this place as the harem house. There was a definite attraction between myself and each of the three young ladies living there. Kate, in particular, developed a huge crush on me, and I have to admit, I was intrigued by the possibilities. Kate was a bisexual with a slamming body, which she usually kept hidden under a flannel shirt and loose jeans. But sometimes she would lounge around in shorts and a bra, or in a thin t-shirt with no bra underneath. Kate had majored in human sexuality in college, and had just gotten a job in a store that sold sex toys. So far, this probably sounds like a male fantasy come to life, but the fly in the ointment was our age difference. I was 36 and Kate was 22. I was definitely feeling a generation gap. Among other things, the three young ladies all seemed to live on their cell phones. Although that is completely standard today, it was something new to me at the time. Meanwhile, even though Kate had studied sex in college and was working in a sex shop, she seemed to have no interest in actually having sex. Not just with me, but with anybody. And the same was true of the other two ladies living there. I won't pretend to understand the reasons, but apparently millennials have much less sex than people from previous generations. Certainly nobody in that house was getting any. In any case, I could tell that it was pointless to try to hook up with Kate. If we were going to have any kind of romantic relationship, it would have to be the new traditional way, which apparently involved a whole bunch of text messaging. That was not a bridge I was ready to try to cross, especially given the living situation. Drama was sure to result, and I did not need that in my life. Instead, I focused my energy on my screenwriting and on my job search. Tune in next time to find out what happened when I tried to bluff my way into a Hollywood employment agency. Until then, like, comment, share, and or subscribe. My name is Range Wilson and I'll see you next time.